Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to explain how error handling works in Mule 4. To handle flow error, Mule provide own error continue component and own error propagate component. We can use these own error component in error handler. Mule has built in error handler or we can create a separate error handler and we can reference that error handler in the flow. In the error handler, we need to configure own error component to match the error types or to match the expression. For example, we can configure for the error type, say, HTTP colon not found. When HTTP colon not found error will raised, then this particular own error component will be executed. We can also configure the match condition based on expression. We can say if uh, error message contain word fatal, then that, that particular own error component should execute. At runtime, if mule flow gets an error, flow stop processing the component. It does not process the remaining component of the flow. Mule flow start executing error handler of the flow. Inside error handler, it try to search matching own error component in a sequence. There are three possibility of the search results are there. First one, first matching component is own error continue component. Second one, first matching component is own error propagate component. And third one, none of the error component match the error. Mule act differently in all these possibility. If first matching component is own error continue component, then Mule executes the own error component. That means it executes all the processor that we defined inside own error continue component. The result of this execution becomes the result of the flow. Execution of the current flow completes successfully. And if this flow is invoked by flow reference component in a calling flow, then execution of the flow reference component in a calling flow completes successfully. If first matching component is own error propagate component, then mule executes this own error propagate component. That means it executes all the processor defined inside this own error propagate component. And execution of the flow fails. If this flow is invoked by a flow reference component in a calling flow, then error propagates to the calling flow. Execution of the flow reference component in the calling flow fails and flow reference component raise error. Mule start executing error handler inside the calling flow and own error component search cycle start all over again in the calling flow. If none of the error component match, then error is rethrown from the component. If this flow was invoked directly by mule, then application default error executes. If this flow is invoked by flow reference component in a calling flow, then flow reference component fails and mule raise an error in the calling flow. Mule start executing the error handler in the calling flow and matching own error component search cycle start again in the calling flow. In any point of studio, now I will demo mule flow error handling with examples. I will create a mule project. I will give a name error handling demo. Click finish. Now I will create two flow. For first flow, I will drag HTTP listener. For second flow, I will drag logger. I will change the name of this flow. First one, I will say calling flow. Second one, I will say call flow. I will add HTTP configuration. I will keep these value default. I will give a path slash demo. I will add a logger. Calling flow 
entered now i will invoke the call flow so i need a flow reference and i will invoke the call flow now i need a logger i will log the message call flow successful and payload is select payload now i need a transform message i will create a json message message calling flow successful now in call flow i will log message call flow entered now i will request a resource using http request and this resource does not exist so it should fail i will add a configuration i will add a local host port 8081 path i will say slash test i will add a logger and i will say call flow exited now i will add on error components i will add on error continue inside call flow built in error handler and i will add on error propagate inside built in error handler i will add a on error continue inside calling flow built in error handler inside call flow in on error continue i will set error type as it be not found and inside on error propagate i will set error type to any now i need a logger component and i need a logger component for on error propagate as well and i need a transform message component for on error continue and i need a transform message component for on error propagate the log http colon not on error occurred in transform message i will build a message message http not found error occurred in on error propagate message i will log error occurred and in transform message component i will create a json message message error occurred 
inside calling flow i will add logger in on error continue and i will log the message error occurred in calling flow i will add a transform message component as well and i will create a json message error record in calling flow now i will save the project right click run it while it's deploying let me recap i have two flow calling flow and call flow call flow is invoking a resource that does not exist will fail and it will go to the error handling part and this call flow is getting invoked from calling flow by flow reference component okay our application has been deployed let's clean the console go to the postman now i will invoke the demo resource click send record the response message calling flow successful let's observe the log so calling flow entered logged from here and it came to flow reference and then execution came to the call flow then the call flow entered message logged and then it came to http request is failed so it's printing the error 404 not found then it is going to error handling and it's uh, searching for the own error component it found the first one own error continue which matching the error type so it should log this message http not found let's observe the log so it's logging http not found error occurred then it set this payload and control going back to the flow reference and it should print the message call flow successful and payload is getting printed from this logger and then is building the transform message and returning to the postman and printing the result so because of uh, flow reference was successful and that's why remaining component also executed and uh, we got the successful result 200 okay now to show the on error propagate i will do a little bit of change i will go to the xml and i will change the order of uh, on error continue and on error propagate i will copy this on error i will put this after on propagate so on propagate now at the top on continue at the bottom i will change the matching error type here in on propagate I will select HTTP not found error and here on error continue I will select error type any and I will change the log message accordingly and also the payload set by transform message
I will change here also log message and transform message. Now let's see what happens. So I will save the project. I will clean the console and go to the postman and I will invoke the demo resource again. Click send. So we got the different error this time. Message error record in calling flow. Let's observe the console. We will see the log. So in the log, we got calling flow entered. Then it came to the here, then came to the flow reference. And I printed call flow entered from here. Then it invoked HTTP request, which failed. I printed the message not found 404. Then it tried to search the on error component for matching HTTP not found. And it found on error propagate and it logged the message. So let's observe the message. HTTP not found error occurred. That's what we are printing here. Then it shared the payload. HTTP not found error occurred. Now, because of on error propagate execution, the call flow failed and uh, flow reference also failed. So, none of the remaining component will execute and uh, execution will come to the error handling. Then this log will be logged. Error occurred in calling flow. So let's observe. So we got the error occurred in calling flow. And then it's uh, build the this payload and return to the postman. And that's what we are getting here. Now to show the third scenario where none of the on error component match the error type. I will change the error type of both on error component. Here I will say bad request. And in on error continue, I will choose HTTP connectivity error. Now, when error will be raised by HTTP request, none of these error component will match. So control will go back to the flow reference and it will fail. None of the remaining component will execute and control will come to the own error continue and it will print this log. Let's save this change. Now I will clean the console, go to the postman and invoke the demo resource again. We got the response message error occurred in calling flow. Let's observe the log in console. So here we got the calling flow, we got the call flow entered. Then it printed the error because of a CTV request. Not found 404. Then it didn't uh, match any of the own error component here. So control went to flow reference and it failed. So execution went to the error handling. And then it should execute this logger and should print error card in calling flow. So let's observe the console. So we have a, at the end error card in calling flow. Then it builds the payload and send to the postman. And that's why we are getting here. And uh, none of these uh, own error component executed. So we didn't see any log out of these. So this is all in this video. If you like it, please click the like button and subscribe it. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.